notion salesman. Board! All aboard! Why not? What's better? Credit. <laughs> it's old fashioned. Charlie, you're an anvil salesman. Your firm give credit. No, sir. Nor anybody else.
from another. That's what's wrong with that. He can't tell a bass drum from a pipe organ. I'll catch up with that swindling two bit thimble rigger. And when I do, I'll squeal at him so loud I'm sorry. Whoa, trying to... you're mad, Charlie. Sure like to be around you catch up with that fella. Not on this trip. Not in Iowa. Not even the great Professor Hill would try and sell these neck boat hot guys out here. What? Gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I'll have to give Iowa a try. Don't believe I caught your name. Oh, I don't believe I dropped it. <laughs> Ethel Toffelmeyer. I 
boss is meese. <laughs> I'm legitimate, huh? I knew you'd come to no good. What's the bitch? La dee da dee da dee da dee da. You're not back in the band business. La dee da, la dee da. I heard you was in steam automobiles. I was. Well, uh, what happened? Somebody actually invented one. No. <laughs> Give me the load down here, Mars. You'll never get anywhere in the band business with these stubborn Iowans, Greg. <laughs> Besides, we got a stuck-up music teacher to expose you before you get your suitcase unpacked. Male or female? Music teacher? Beanie male. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I wanted to do. She passes by, point her out to me. I will. I can start the pitch. Same old way. Keep that music teacher off balance. Then my next step will be to get your town out of the serious trouble it's in. River City isn't in any trouble. Then I'll create some. I have to create a desperate need for a boy's band. Now what's new around here? What can I use? Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> Except the big <clears throat> card just put in a brand new pool table. We never had a pool table here before. Nope, only billiards. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> See you later, Mars. And you remember, music teacher. Music teacher. Ah, you Mr. Uh, Dumma? Yep. Well, either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, you see trouble right here in River City. Well, I serve my opinion players, certainly my right to say, I see more as many kind of say. I consider that the hours I spend with the cure by Andrew Gold will be cool to me torso, and a cool head, and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an eye-clad beam to yourself from a three-year-old bear and shot? But just as I say, it's take judgment, brains and maturity to score a ball flying in. I see the leap through. Keep taking seven ball and be fun. First big step on the road to the next, so take your days. But this is a wine from a tea slum. And here's a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. Apples on the top. Rock 
in the golden room. My children's 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 children. We're terrible, terrible children. That game with the 15 number balls. The devil's trouble. The devil's trouble. We got trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh, yes.
his shame. We know all about his lisp, Amaryllis. Well, Winthrop, I'll bet he won't say it. <laughs> no, thank you, Amaryllis. Amaryllis, Amaryllis, Amaryllis. <laughs>
lay flat on the mat for three and a half hours without moving a muscle. <laughs> Man, I'm <that's> excited. <laughs> Never mind. Ah! I want that mask to the they almost blow Mrs. Sheehan. Thank you, Professor. Have to make an example of him. He's great, we you know, but he does the can dust. Jimmy, why don't you go? You wild kid, yeah. Hanging around my oldest girl. His father's one of the day laborers south of town. You wild kid, yeah. Tagging down the main street of my oldest girl last Sunday. I wasn't either tagging. Don't you contradict me. He's just walking together. Jimmy, climb. You watch your phraseology. I know what you's doing. My little Gracie Senior. Now you stay away from my oldest girl, or you'll hear from me tell who laid the rails. Hell, I'll talk to you Monday morning about this band thing going to City Hall at 10 o'clock sharp. Then, I want that spellbinder's credentials. Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. You don't know this kid. He's tough and he's got his gang waiting outside. Oh, oh, be careful. <laughs> Tom, I can talk to you about the band. Gee, Professor, that's for the little kids. I'm not talking about you playing the band. You're mechanically minded, aren't you? Ever do anything with uh, perpetual motion? Yeah, I nearly had it a couple times. You did? <laughs> well, you're my man. Do you realize that nobody's ever invented a music holder for the marching and piccolo player? No place to hold the music. Geely Clyde, wonder where I could take some wire from. Look at your cellar. That's where people keep wire. Tommy! Yes, sir? Yeah. I'll show you how to break the game. Well, young lady, oh miss, what's your name? You escort the young lady home. Oh, he's stepping on my Oh, I have to go to the select fairy to be God. I just want to get home by way of a letter. Ah, by way of the candy kitchen. <laughs> yes, sir. Do I have to? You have to. Yes, sir. <laughs> Professor, you're a great my young man. You made a couple of mistakes, though. Well, <coughs> the mayor happens to own the big bar and the new pool table. Oh. What was my other mistake? That's Anita. She is the mayor's oldest girl. <laughs> Just a minute, Professor Hill. We'd like to have your credentials. We are the school board. Academic certificate. Nothing of the kind. Your letters and papers. Make him put up a bond. When I hear you, you say it. Ice. Ice cream, but I don't say it. All right, talk to Talk so. Ice cream. See, singing is only sustained talking. <laughs> now you. Ice cream. Now you right here. Ice cream. Now you, sir. Ice cream. Ladies, from now on, you will never see one of these men without the other three. Oh, Professor, you Where is the
house on the hotel. Mr. Hill. Oh, please, please. Professor Hill. Professor? Professor of what? At what college do they give a degree for annoying women on the street like a Saturday night rowdy at a public dance hall? Oh, I wouldn't know about that. I'm a conservatory man myself. Gary, Indiana. Gold middle class of Art Five. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? Another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town. And I feel it only fair to warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in there which may very well give me some interesting information about you. <coughs> Hi, Mars. I know call me Greg. Had to make out with a music teacher. Scrumptious. Ate right out of my hand the minute I said hello. She did? Boy, did you cut a swath tonight. For a minute there, even I thought you knew something about leading a band. Just like when you used to imitate that band hunter fellow back in Joplin. Yeah. La dee da dee da dee da. Kid stuff. I'm in rare form these days, son. Just you keep your eyes on me for the next four weeks. Four weeks? It used to take ten days for the instruments to arrive. It still does, but it takes four weeks for the uniforms. Uniforms? But you can't pass yourself off as a music professor. Mars. But you don't know one note from another. I have a revolutionary new method called the Think System where you don't even bother with notes. But in four weeks, the people who want to hear music will have to lead a, 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 a band. But when the uniforms arrive, they'll forget everything else. At least long enough for me to collect and leave. Oh, this is a very refined operation, son. And I've got a time right down to the last wave of the Rickman's hand on the last train out of town. And now, Mr. Washburn, if you'll excuse me. You're gonna line yourself up with a little canoodling, huh? <laughs> Say, I could fix you up with Ethel's sister. Lovely girl, teach a Sunday school. No, why? Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of girl spins webs no spider. Now listen, boy. A girl who trades on all that purity really wants to trade my independence for her security. <laughs> the only affirmative she will fire refers to marching down the aisle. No golden glorious claiming first to guts. No, sir. Put no tie into your life. Tell you that right. I snarl. I hiss. How could they? Compared to bliss, I smile. I feel for the lady who knows what time it is. I turn for the man to want to like to see the sun a wise girl for me.
part of my music plans include a committee on the dancing. Yeah. Wait. Do that again, Mrs. Shin. Your foot, the way you raised it just now. Oh, well, I have a bunny in there. Whoa! <laughs> what natural flow of rhythm. What expression of line and movement. Mr. Hill! You must accept the chairmanship of the ladies in Zillary for the class of dance. Must she, ladies? Oh, yes, yes, yes! Every move you make, Mrs. Shin, speaks. Tell Sergeant. Will you, will you say yes, Mrs. Shin? You lady McKechnie Shin. Oh, well, I know that is dancing well. Then you accept? Yes, indeed. Oh, and I would like to say. Thank you. Now the young lady plays the piano. Marion Prue, I believe. <gasps> well, after all, she is the librarian. Pick a little toggle, pick a little toggle, cheek, cheek, cheek to the lot, pick a little more. Pick a little toggle, pick a little toggle, cheek, cheek, cheek to the lot, pick a little more. Pick a little toggle, pick a little toggle, cheek, cheek, cheek to the lot, pick a little more. Pick a little toggle, pick a little toggle, cheek, 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 cheek,
Steelies, eight Aggies, a dozen Pee Wees, and one big glass with American flag. I think I'll drop one. No! I'm out of my Did 
you get in this suit. Flattery will not avail you, Mr. Hill. Soliciting is statutory in this county. Malfeasance without a permit. Why haven't you been down to City Hall with your references? Just missed you, Mayor Shane. What? Oh, no. Mr. Mayor, your hand. Oh, no! What? What? That's sick part of your little finger. It's hereditary. It is? What does that mean? It means that your son's little finger is perfectly situated to operate the spit valve on a B-flat flugelhorn. Is that good? Good! It means that America's finally produced an artist who can flugel the minute waltz in 50 seconds. Where can I get one of these horns? Just sign here, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. And just think, I can miss this whole thing. I haven't got any sign, you want? with your by god papers by three o'clock sharp. You mean this afternoon? Couldn't make myself any plainer. If I was a Quaker, I'd just day off. <laughs> that you have the facial characteristics of cornet virtuoso. Oh, I don't know if I understand you entirely, Professor. Why, if your son has that same burn chin and those splendid cheek muscles, by George. Not that he could ever be really great, you understand. Oh, and in the name of St. Bridget, why not? Well, you see, all the really great cornet players were Irish. Oh, Clark. Oh, Mendez. <laughs> <laughs> Klein! Professor, we are Irish. No, really! That puts us in. Sign here, Miss Brew. Your boy was born to play the cornet. Fine, fine, that'll be seven dollars earnest money. Nothing more due until the first installment payable at the opening of band practice. Ah, uh, thank you. And of course I'll need the boy's measurements for his uniform. His uniform? Hello there, son. Of course his uniform. And there will be a penny more due to the liberty, which gives him four weeks to enjoy, to anticipate, to imagine, and no cost whatever. Never allow the demands of tomorrow to interfere with the pleasures and excitement of today. Would it have a... A... A stripe? Why, certainly might. A wide red stripe down each side, and a big G in the middle, too. What do you think of that? You'll have to excuse Winthrop, Professor. We can't get him to say three words a day, even to us. And if you can get him to play in the band, you'll have St. Michael's own way with you. But if anyone can do it, I'll bet you can. Out of a crowd, I'd pick you for a hard carrying, clay pipe smoking, shamrock wearing, harp playing, maverine pinching, terrace hall minstrel singing Irishman. Be God and be jabbers, where are you from me by? Gary, Indiana. I knew it. Get. <laughs> get in, Indiana? Why, yes. Gary Indiana. But in fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. What's she now? Well, yes. Rule the middle class of what five. How do you do, Miss Brew? How do you do, Mr. Hill? Ha, ah, Brew. I thought the name sounded familiar. I've tried to see him since the other He night. wants to put Winthrop in the bag. We're not interested, Mama. Oh, yeah. The boy might have his father's musical gift. He does have my jaw, you know. Ah, your husband musical? Well, I'd like to have talk. Do you Well, that's one for and one against. No, why don't we let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Anything else? Oh, I'm sorry. But that's all the more reason why your brother should have My brother is a 12-year-old problem child who doesn't understand why his father was taken away. Would you care to explain to him he's been brooding about it for two years? As to your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold-painted watches and glass diamond rings? Musical tricks? Well, Miss Prue, I hardly. I get the feeling she likes the idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little cautious, perhaps, but I admire that woman. Just you keep me alive, and I'll be back later in the week. Oh, one moment, Professor. About the boy's measurements, I make all this clothes. A sleeve 21, waist 18, crouch. Fine, waist. fine, that's all I need. No, I must get back to the hotel. Uh, professor, I do hope you'll excuse Maddie, and she's not. Oh, please, please. Don't worry about a thing. I'm sure that at heart, 
She's as lovely as yourself. Good day to you with a brew. Has he gone? He has, and I hope not forever. Darling, don't you ever think of your future. Get in Indiana. Observation class the most fun. Now, darling. Now, Mama, surely a girl's future doesn't depend on encouraging every fast talking self centered woman chasing traveling man who comes to town. And the fact he claims his commodity in this case does not impress me. All right, darling, all right. Only it's a well known principle that if you keep the match in one drawer and the kindling in the other, you'll never strike much of a fire. Mama!
15 and 12. And now look, my wife is off dancing at any and all hours instead of in the hall. George. The school board is singing up street and down alley instead of tending to city matters. My oldest girl is poodling around with some wild kid, and my business has fallen off so far, I can't even find a balance sheet. Mayor Shin, I found something very interesting in this book about the Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. I know all about that. In fact, that's the only thing I can ever get out of him. <coughs> Gary Conservatory, class of Oct. 5. But if you'll just take time to read a little bit about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look any further. It's on page. Papa, the Wells Fargo wagon just coming up from the depot. The Wells Fargo wagon? A likely story. At this hour of the day, nonsense. The Wells Fargo wagon? It could be the band instruments. The band, band instruments. instruments. Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon is up. Coming down the street, oh, please let it be for me.
do what? <sighs> Never mind. Serena's scared of you, but I'm not. I should think you need to have your own daughter scared of you. Chili Klein. I'm gonna warn you once more. If I ever get you take a team, my daughter, oh my god, force if you to know how old.
happy time. Yes, congratulations. Let's see now. You know all week I've tried to give you fellows my references and credentials, but you always seem to get off the subject. Somehow. No, I was just with you went over my hotel. Take me a second. Sorry. Afraid I'll have to go along with you. Yes, well, let's see if I have my... What's this? Oh, a testimony from Madarini, the only female bassoonist ever to here appear in the Red Path Circuit. Her stage name, of course. Actually, she was from Aline. Lida Rose Quackenbus. Well, just see that Oh, you'll never forget the name. Lida Rose. Same as the old song. Lida Rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky.
I got to see shit. Number eight only makes a 15 minute water stop. Wish it was 20. I'd like to concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cow. Anvil sells <laughs> But just now I'm out to protect the good name of the traveling fraternity from this swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. The state my old lady's corset cover. That fellow's been the rat seed my wisdom tooth just long enough. He spoiled Illinois for me, and he's not going to spoil Iowa. Say, what kind of music teacher are you? You didn't see through him. He's no more professor than I'm a chick. I know all about that. Bad leaders are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director, and his- Now wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one note of music from any band? No, but- But nothing, girly girl. He never formed a band in his life, and he never will. If you'll just listen to me for a minute, I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that if I had the time. I sure got the inclination. But I gotta get back on that tray. And I gotta leave this dynamite with somebody on the way to the depot. Bye, girly girl. See you next time through. You'll never make that train at the depot. You'll have to catch it at the crossing. No, sir. I got to leave word, and I can see you ain't the one to leave with. <coughs> Just a minute, Mr. Cowell. You don't know me yet. Is that an invitation? No. I mean, I don't know you and it was like... Yes, I need more time anyway. I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there, girly girl. I've never met a man who sells anvils before. That's something, <coughs> well, quite different. Takes a real salesman, I can tell you that. Anvils have a limited appeal, you know. <coughs> what am I doing? I miss that train, I'll get fired. And I gotta leave word about that fella Hill. Leave what? Me. Not on your tin type. How do I know you deliver these letters? Try me. <laughs> There's your friend that run for it. Why are you double dealing with all? Who do you think you're protecting? That guy's got a girl in every county in Illinois, and he's taking it away from every one of them. And that's 102 counties. Not to mention the piano teachers like you he coaches up to to keep their mouths shut. Neither one of you has heard the last of me, girly girl. At the least suggestion, I'll pop the question. Bright rose, I'm home again, rose without a street. 
him, those people will be screaming for music if those kids show up at the sociable. Yeah. Here's most of the dough. I got Tommy collected. He's trying to keep the kids together at least, pretending to hold a practice over at the lumber yard. All right, Mars, go get the ring. I got it. What time's the break up? 9.40 from the junction. We'll be starting at 8.30 yet. Listen, you want a turtle whirl around here and get yourself all cut up in a bunny trap, you go Look, ahead. Look, Mars, meet you at our hotel in plenty of time. <coughs> Miss Marion, you're late. What, you said 15 minutes? No, I mean, oh, I'd say 22 years late. Took you all this time to get to the footbridge with the fellow, huh? If you want to know the truth, it was almost longer. Oh. Halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly when not under the spell of your family, Jeff. Now, Miss Mary, surely you don't think I've tried to sell you anything. Oh, no. You've given me something. That's why I decided to come. I don't recall giving you anything. Oh, yes. You have. Something for you. That's why I came. Oh, well, we don't have to talk about that just now, do we? 
No, they don't. Or ever, for that matter, Harold. The librarian hasn't felt like doing much research lately. But she did plenty of it when you first came here. Oh, about what? About Professor Harold Hill, Gary Conservatory of Music, Gold Medal Class of Ot 5. Harold, there was no Gary Conservatory in Ot 5. Why, there certainly... Because the town wasn't even built till Ot 6. I'll see the social... You knew all the time? Since July 7th, three days after you came, I tore this page at the Indiana Journal. It was originally intended to use against you, but now I give it to you with all my heart. But if you knew, what did... Why, you... Uh... Well, 110 cornets played the air. Then I modestly took my place as a one and only bass, and I pawed up and down the square.
Sunita, is that you? Stop open around, feeling sorry for yourself. What band? I always think there's a band, kid. What's the other thing I'm entitled to know? Well, actually, the other thing isn't any of your business now that I think of it. <laughs> I wish you'd never come to River City. No, you don't, Winthrop. Sister, do you believe him? I believe everything he ever said. Sit. 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 
can only remind you that I did everything in my power to prevent this fire happening from, from, uh, Seventy-six strong. 
phraseology. <laughs> Mr. Bob. 
there's a nameless person who did not want her name to be mentioned that she wrote this for Mr. Boinkle. Um, and Jennifer Hall now read it while I go get his brother. In this world, there are two types of people, performers and the audience, the latter most abundant. To the performer, life is a stage on which to entertain the world with laughter, tears, and song. The performer performs for the love of performing and nothing other. They have to make sacrifices with no payback to the audience's eyes. But to the performer, the audience's laughter, tears are more, laughter and tears are more than enough. But the most important and the biggest thing that some performers forget is a special bond of love to one another and the theater. Mr. Bullwinkle, you've taught us all this and we love you very much. Thank you. This has been a wonderful five years, and I couldn't ask for anything more from children or parents. Well. 